It is, well, the thing in the forest that I already went to is pretty much what she described, but I already went to it. It was behind us. It was behind us to the right. She left to the left. So I'm thinking, you know, that it's over here somewhere in this forest or even potentially past the uh, outpost. I don't think it's behind us. Oh, sorry, kitty. My cat's sleeping at my feet. I accidentally just slightly kind of kicked him a little. I mean, not hard. Yeah, keep healing yourself, actually. I mean, again, not that this game necessarily makes ton of sense, but... Nope, you're not sending everything late. Uh, my chat, I've got a chat next to uh, OBS that I use. The I just popped out Twitch chat. There is an inherent delay, though, between me and you guys. You're getting my words later than, like, yeah, you you get my words later. There's just a, de a natural delay with Twitch. I don't start talking and you hear it a second later. You can sometimes hear it up to 10, 20, 30, 40 seconds later, a minute later. So there's just a, a natural delay. Hello, Azix. How are you doing today? Okay. So let's head on back down to that lighthouse. I fucking hate this vagina tree. This vagina tree sucks. Is that too much defense? Ah, uh, come on! Die already! Oh, my cat just rolled over onto my foot. He was sleeping at my feet, now he just rolled onto my foot. Alright. Alrighty, money, 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 money. Uh, 20 bucks says that this lighthouse is also going to be guarded. But... Fuck! On the last tile again! And to the thing that's not even weak against lightning! Well, let's see if he's weak against cold, I guess. Ooh! Nice! He is weak against cold! Sweet! Alright. That helps, actually, a lot. Welcome back, weapon. Love you too, fuckhead. Amigo, your guide to the lighthouse. You lot want to go inside? All right, all right. I'll take a thousand CR for the th the sentry fee. For the fee fee. Yes, we'll pay. Thanks. My family's living here too. We're all at your service. <laughs> I'm joking, weapon. Please stay. I love you, buddy. I'm just seriously joking. You know I love you. All right, well, I was able to get into this lighthouse. I also didn't see what lighthouse it was, what number. If I leave the map, don't fucking charge me to come back in. Fifth lighthouse. Fuck! You are gonna charge me to go back inside. Oh, fine. Fuck you too, dick. Or suck a dick, specifically. <sighs> All right. So the, this is deceiving. You can go behind this. This is exactly like the other lighthouses. Okay, so this is the third lighthouse we've seen. No entry. Okay. Cheers, cheers. There's a bed downstairs. You can use it if you like. Oh, oh, actually, that's fucking awesome. Okay, well... The entry fee is a little bit better than if I can f rest for free. And I get next. I get to sleep next to my waifu. My actual in-game 
wife, not my waifu waifu. That is creepy. Especially considering they're both, like, underage. That was it? That was it? I can't go upstairs? So, I paid four grand for a bed. I mean, technically speaking, I paid two grand... It should have only been two grand, and I did pay two grand in the previous village, so really the price didn't go up for a bed, but that's all that's in here, besides this, that I, I can't enter. Uh, I was talking about uh, Felena's wife in-game, Lila. They're technically married. They got married when... Uh, or they got put together when Felena was pretending to be a guy. And Lila was the wench that came to service me the night before I was supposed to die in the whole battle, like the whole beginning sequence of the game when I was in the arena. Uh, all of the competitors got wenches. And mine, they all, you know, they, you pick your wife, da-da-da-da, wench. Wench becomes wife, same difference, right? Uh, same difference, but, I mean, in this game, same difference. Uh... And, uh, she ended up finding out that I was a girl that night because we tried having sex. Ah, AZ Act. Azix, thank you for following. That should be down here. And a little bit smaller. But thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Oh, well, I do have my own wife. My wife, Christina, you know. Oh, this is the fucker that killed me in, like, two shots. I do have Christina. Girlfriend, technically, but the state says we're married. Okay, so it's you on the right, I think, that does the insane amounts of damage. Okay, that wasn't it. Who in the fuck did, like, the insane damage to me then last time? Did Weapon run away? Is he still in the chat? Steven, I'm sorry. It was a joke. Please don't have disappeared. Oh, that was it. Chain Buster. If I recall, that move for me is also, if I've got an, uh, a guy who can use it, that move is also, for me, fucking powerful. Yeah, I think my real wife counts as a wife. I'm sorry, I got used to using your real name. I also froze that guy who can use that powerful move. So, that's kind of nice. Oh, and if he's frozen and I kill the remaining guys, he disappears too? Oh, that was awesome. I didn't mean... I'm sorry. I slipped up. I, I, I started getting into the habit of using your real name. So... Whoops. Okay. I'm out of my, my, my hundreds. Uh, yeah, let's do this so that Lila can heal. Oh, I also need to get rid of your poison. I know it doesn't matter, but I slipped. I just I got you I got used to saying it. Okay. Everyone's healed up in case I run into that fight again, but I'm just gonna freeze the guy on the right until Until he's frozen or dead Nomad camp. Oh, this is the nomad camp, so it's not fucking hidden at all Any guests of Manila a Manila are always welcome here. Well, it's better than having to pay two grand to get in. Oh You finally came you must be tired, right? You can rest here for a while. I could have rested here for free fucking a Amanella, we have a schedule, Azix. Uh, Launchbox and uh, Launchbox tutorials go up on Friday. RSS goes up on Tuesday. Jason does live developer sessions on Tuesday, Wednesdays, and those go up pretty much the same day. And then he does his developer sessions where uh, the people ask him questions on Thursday. It's pretty much our schedule. We need to actually write out the schedule, but I mean, we do have one. <laughs> Later, later. You should rest first. 
Tell Akul and the tents that you're my guests, and she'll fix you up, and, and she'll fix up an empty tent for you to stay in. Oh, about getting into the capital. There's an old man I know who I think might be able to help you a lot. He'll help you a lot. Come by my tent tomorrow, and I'll fill you in. Mm, let me get some snacks. I'm a little hungry. Uh, I got Milky Ways. Milky Way Midnights. Got a couple of those. Uh, I've got... Ghirardelli chocolate minis. They're milk chocolate, sea salt, and almonds. Death by snow snow. Um, those the Ghirardellis are delicious. I've got peanut butter cup Oreos. Yeah, Christina went crazy with the snacks like recently, so I've got tons of them. Time to go shopping. We Amukune, Amakune, move around all through year, all through the year to hide from the Kletchia hunters. Oh, okay, so they don't even they don't stay here, thank God. I haven't seen you before. Sorry, but I can't tell you anything until I can trust you. Well fucking A. Alright, alright, alright. Puppy! Puppy who impregnated women. Alright, which tent? is Amanella's. You're Amanella's guests? I can't believe she'd bring men into the camp. Maybe she's gone senile, too. I'm a woman. Fucking A. Calm your vagina. You're Amanella's guests? Why, you're a man! How unusual. It's not every day Amanella brings a man in as a guest. I, you know what? This is starting to make lots more sense. They don't like men. They're all women. There's one dog who is a male. So, assume he's got a penis. She is impregnated by this fucking dog. Just saying. <laughs> what the hell? I'm not doing so great right now. Sorry, but I think I might have to put off going to bore with you like I promised. That's okay, sweetie. Just... Hang in there. Well, I found her tent at least, so I know that much. <laughs> we just can't complete with, compete with the women. The men here are utterly humiliate, humiliated. Oh, so there are men in here. Okay, never mind. She probably has a sex slave. Death by snoo snoo! The women of the Amakune tribe have always been tough. Alright, there are men here. She didn't get pregnant by a dog. I'm keeping watch to make sure no Kletchia hunters are coming. Alright. There's regular kids here too. So it's not a thing that they get preg impregnated by this dog. The tent there's free. Alright. Uh, it's free but we can't sleep. Okay. We even teach our little ones how to use weapons to protect themselves from our enemies outside. If only we could settle down somewhere where there aren't Kletchia hunters. If only there were somewhere like that. Eh, there will be. That's what I'm work that's what we're working on. These fucks won't get away with it forever. You can't rely on men for anything. That's why it's the women here who are so strong. Arrgh! This is a huge table, isn't it? We all gather here to eat together. And then there's the children's table or the cutting table. It's a rule at this camp that the men make the food for everyone. Ha! <laughs> nice. Ooh. There's a path going this way. This is a weird... This is like totally angled, but since I can't actually go at an angle, because it's not supposed to go at an angle. Uh, <laughs> and there are enemies here. Shit. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I wish I could skip the fights for you guys. If I did record this instead and edit it, I would probably take out a lot of the fights. But I obviously can't, so... I love my cold, my cold slash. It actually freezes enemies. That's really handy. I mean, oh shit. It's like, it's freezing. Not a hundred percent, but... 
like pretty a, a pretty good percentage chance of freezing. That or they're weak against it, so they've got either a higher chance to be frozen. But yeah, I froze them all. Paracure, nice, and Felatio leveled up, and Lila leveled up, nice. I'll take it. I also want one of these Milky Ways. Yeah, they do look like they do look more stoned than frozen. Classic, like Final Fantasy stoned. I'm keeping watch here to make sure that no Kletchia hunters approach the camp. Okay. It takes a lot of TP, though. That is the downside to it. And if it doesn't freeze them, it does a really high amount of damage. Ba da da da. <clears throat> so, Weapon, what Perler are you working on uh, today from Final Fantasy? Yay! These guys are actually given decent amounts of experience, so I will take it. Even if I get into a fight every five fucking feet... Ah, war mech? That thing's huge! Have you, um, I, I need to get a new, I need to, actually, we need to talk about it, because, um, my iron sucks for Perler, but when I would do the big ones, like, I would only want to do, the smaller ones I could do on the pegboards, but I would use the tape method to get them off the boards so that I don't warp the boards. The problem with doing it with the gigantic ones, though, is that uh, they're gigantic, so you have to plan it out, and then you have to tape it all and poke holes in all of it. Even if you use a pegboard to poke the holes, it takes a while. It takes a lot longer than it should. So are you using the tape method, or are you using... Are you, like, melting on your boards? Are you using, like, a low, low heat and just more time and pressure instead of, like, a really high heated uh, iron? Are you using an, ex an expensive iron? Um, I want to get back into it when I, I got the... When I've got the space for it. Uh, when Christina and I move, which is not going to be for another year. Hopefully, if streaming does take off for me... Yeah, Chaos, I would assume you had to, would to have done his tape. You probably didn't have enough boards for it, so you had to tape up as you went. Um, We want to move in like a year. If if streaming does take off and I start getting like donations and all that good stuff, we could theoretically move sooner, but... Ah, uh, yeah, I want... Oh, wow, you actually have 16 boards? So then why did you tape him up? Well, this was fucking pointless. Came all the way out here for with fights for nothing. <laughs> yep, it sounds like you melted your boards. I know that one. My very first Pikachu I did, I uh, melted the board right into his face. So he's forever disfigured. Ooh, did I just get suddenly get a lot stronger from the levels up? From the leveling up? Oh, the boards? What did you... Oh, then did, did you, did you overmelt? Uh... Ah, yeah, that... Yep, that will do it, too. You It's one of three things, really. You melted your board, you overmelted your perler, or he curled. <laughs> I was making a custom uh, Pokemon badge case... With the Pokemon, the first gen badges in it. That one curled real bad on me too. That was fairly big. That was before I had learned of the tape method actually. 